hello um i'm drawing a picture of a planet and the planet's got uh anaconda in front of it seems to be anaconda week um <laughs> here it is it's just appearing now yeah this is a planet uh, quite some distance away it is called syrive uh, KR hyphen WD1 hyphen 144, according to the screenshot's owner. So it's a basically this is a, a sort of planet you get to, and you think, oh, let's take, or you go there because you know and you, uh, you have to take photos of these because they, uh, they have glowy bits on. There's the, uh, the glowing green giants. <laughs> They're not always loads of green bits, but some of them are really just all green. They just look amazing. So they look, they look like fluorescent like radioactive nightmare alien slime green they reckon it's like airborne tiny microscopic gas or life forms or some such that's creating that fluorescent color um <laughs> there's not many of them you not they've not found many of them there's a, perhaps a dozen or so i'm not sure whether they've, they've found any more than that this is quite nice it's against the you know the traditional backdrop of the galaxy and uh, i really enjoy doing these i like making planets look round i think it's the simplest thing that you could try doing and it also is the most satisfying thing to make something look round i just really enjoy doing it and you do it like through the shape of the bands obviously the bands on the right hand side they're curving round and round and round and then they get flatter and flatter as they get to the center and, and also that you notice that because that center is nearer to you you've got the appearance of the bands becoming further apart as they go lower in the screen it's no they're not further apart they're just um you're just looking top down at them and then they curve gradually the other way as you get to that left hand side and i tried to show a little bit of not shadow but a little bit of uh, three-dimensional tone to sort of shade the edges because if you make it look dark around the edge it looks it looks three days i know i know and not always appropriate because sometimes the light shining on the planet is from one direction or another so you can't do that but it's quite fun quite like the way that the, uh, the, the the whirling gas clouds and I've really enjoyed doing um, gas giants from the past and the, the endless swirls of the gas in the deris strata of the atmosphere just it's just wonderful I, I did a picture of Jupiter uh, for someone who wanted a, a genuinely a realistic picture like a NASA picture of Jupiter but, but let, bang a little Corvette in there so I did that for her and I think she liked it it was it was quite nice. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, I quite like doing the NASA pictures, but I don't do them very often because I've got so many pictures to do them. I'm trying to keep with like a chronologically, when did I get it? When should I do it? Thing. But then every now and again, I'm like, oh, I really want to do that one. So I drop off my wagon a bit and do a rightly coloured one. There used to be orange ones as well and pink ones, but I think they toned down some of those and made them a little bit more beige because they're a bit too in your face. I wanted to see them, but I didn't get there. I didn't get myself sorted to go, I should say, before they did the big tweak. Well, we'll see what happens when they bring out the new textured planets in Odyssey, the new upgraded uh, generation system for the planets, the rendering system. Hopefully that should offer some nice, uh, nice views. I'm assuming it's gonna make all the planets look different. So it might make these disappear. I don't know, I don't know whether that's gonna affect these. Certainly it's going to affect the rocky planets and the icy planets, but we'll see what happens. I spent quite a bit of time tweaking the detail on that conda because uh, it, it, the condas are quite complex to draw because they've got an awful lot of like external panels visible, which can be quite tiny when you're not doing a massive portrait of a conda, as it were. So I spent quite a lot of time. Not only that, but this conda, uh, like quite a lot of condas, this is an exploration vessel, so it's got a lot of wear on the paint, and I wasn't really capable of showing that all I could really try and do was show the, the variation in the colors of the different panels as best I could oh it was really lovely image of the conda though and I haven't done it justice by any means but yeah I keep practicing them I keep I keep going at them uh, I've done one that worked okay but it was a really massive painting of one and I had to use paint because it was too detailed but yeah I think that there's some ships which I'm just not very good at I used to have a real thing about seeing the green flash. I don't live anywhere near the coast, but I'd love to. <laughs> but now I've got Sea of Thieves, <laughs> so I can see it every time the, the digital sunset. I did enjoy the, uh, the little Easter egg, as it were, in this picture. I didn't notice all the way through drawing the picture, staring at it like for an hour and a half or whatever, until right at the end, when I noticed that the stars looked a bit funny on the left-hand side. <laughs> and it, one of them was a, um, one of them was a planet. And I was just, I was just finishing off that last little bit and I realised, oh no, that's not, that's a ringed planet. It's not actually a star. That was quite sweet.
anyway uh, thank you for watching i really appreciate it <laughs>